The first flight carrying asylum seekers to Rwanda is expected to leave the UK today. The controversial plan aims to discourage people from illegally crossing the English Channel into Britain. Human rights groups say some of those scheduled to be deported include people fleeing Afghanistan and Syria, as well as Iran and Iraq. Seven people currently remain on the passenger list after dozens were removed following legal challenges. For more on that, let's cross over to our correspondent Birgit Maas in London. Birgit, what's the current status uh, of this plane? Will it take off today? Yes, Foreign Secretary, British Foreign Secretary Liz Truss has confirmed that the flight will take off at some point today, even though there are really not a lot of asylum seekers on board. So the Home Office had originally not given any concrete figures, but it had been reported that they were trying to deport uh, almost 40 people. So now the figure much, much lower. But Foreign Secretary Liz Truss uh, is saying that it is justified that the flight should go just to establish the principle that asylum seekers that come via the English Channel on boats, that they cannot expect to have their claims processed here, but they can expect to be deported to Rwanda. So um, around 40 originally planned, uh, only seven remain on that plane. Uh, that's because of an intense legal battle. What were the most important points there? There were several legal battle, uh, battles, um, Gerhard. There was a coalition, uh, there still is a coalition of, of charities and unions, and they are still fighting uh, in front of the British courts. They're saying that this is just generally the principle is not right. They're saying this doesn't comply with the Human Rights Act, and also they're arguing that Rwanda is not a safe third country. And then there are also individual battles on behalf of asylum seekers. And as we know, some have been successful because there are no uh, a lot less people on the flight uh, than originally intended. Now, how is this uh, practice uh, being viewed by the British public? Are there any polls about this? There has been a lot of criticism um, publicly. There has been, there have been church leaders, and they have said that this is an immoral practice um, that shames Britain. There is a petition going on, and if you look at the website, the sort of numbers are increasing by the minute. Uh, over 150,000 people have um, put their signatures down in order to stop this practice. There are celebrities. They are petitioning the airlines and arguing. Uh, urging the airlines not to not to help with this practice. What unites all these people is that they argue that this is something that is just morally wrong. And uh, for example, the opposition uh, is saying the Labour opposition saying it's it's something that's un-British. However, the government is arguing that it's justified. They say what's morally wrong are the people smugglers who are taking people in a very dangerous way, uh, helping them across the English Channel. And for them, this is their main goal, to stop this practice. So remind us again, these uh, people are being removed to Rwanda. Why Rwanda? So the British government has struck a deal with the government of Rwanda. They regard Rwanda as a safe third country, and the Rwandan government has agreed to take on uh, the claims of, of these people who are seeking asylum in the UK. And if they are successful, they can uh, stay in Rwanda for, for up to five years. So basically, it's transporting people who originally wanted to come to the UK, most of them, um, have some sort of ties to the UK, have family here. This is why they went on this dangerous journey across the channel. But now, instead of having their claims processed in the UK, they can face this deportation to Rwanda. Thank you very much. DW correspondent Birgit Master in London. Thanks, Birgit.